Hello everybody and welcome back to another single song reaction here on my channel. I have with me my nephew again. Your name is? Hunter. Hi. Yep. Hello. And uh, we are going to start this video off a little differently. Hunter has just finished mowing our entire lawn because he likes to do that, right? Yes. It's not like we forced you or asked you to. You enjoyed doing it. You asked if you could. And so uh, he finished doing that. It's hot outside. Everybody else that we have around the house at the moment is gone. So we are going to record some videos. But because he's a little hot, it's a little parched, we're going to open our pops first. Normally we wait. But we're going to do that. We're going to drink these over the course of four videos, right? We'll try. Yeah. Just try not to chug yours down right away. But I am having my, my favorite beverage of all time, Mountain Dew Voltage, the blue raspberry flavor. And Hunter, what are you having? Pepsi. Standard Pepsi. Haven't had Pepsi in a while. Just a plain old Pepsi. That's alright. Here, just move your glass. Move your move the mic. I keep doing that thing like they do in science class, but like You just gotta commit to pouring. Go, go, go. Yeah. Do we need to get a rag or something? Yeah, I'll have to get something. But, you know, I'm going to take a drink of my pop first. It's so dumb that science does that. That when you pour it, it doesn't... That it goes down the side, not... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the cup. All right, I'm going to move my headphones, which is a cardinal sin for me, because they'll never work again. And go find something. Paper towel. Okay, Hunter, talk to everybody and entertain them. You can move the mic back over. Entertaining being done. Hmm. Well, there's not much to talk about. Have you played Hogwarts Legacy? Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. <laughs> I guess science does not like me today. Well, science also invented the technology we're using to record this, the technology used to make the instruments. Mm, I think it's a person did that. Pretty sure a person did that, and... Um, Here, you can wipe off your glass if it got on the side of the glass. No, I didn't. I'm just gonna. That's not a good idea. That's yeah. gonna. We'll just put it down here. All right. Okay. Okay, so I haven't actually decided which one we're gonna do first here. Mm -hmm. So I know this video will have a title, so you will see what we choose to listen to. But I have four songs that Hunter and I are gonna record in this session here. And I'm gonna split them all up into individual songs. And the point of these videos with Hunter for me at least, is to show him songs that I enjoyed when I was younger, and even still songs from today that I enjoy that um, I know he hasn't heard. So in the comments of this video, leave comments of songs that you think that Hunter would enjoy based off of what we talk about, and also just songs from your childhood that you think he might enjoy. Just for a tiny little bit of background on Hunter, in case this is your first video you're seeing with him, we, Hunter, you are how old? 12. 12. And what's some of your fit music that you do enjoy? I mean, rock, I guess. Rock? Rock? Like, what's your favorite band? ACDC. ACDC. What else? Don't know. You, like a couple... But basically, um, when Hunter was a few years younger, when he was like probably 9, 10, I made him a two-CD mixtape of a bunch of stuff to try to find out what he liked. I've shown him a bunch of songs over the years. I didn't realize we were going to have this opportunity to do this, so otherwise I would be able to show him maybe some songs that you would think would be obvious songs to show him, but he already knows some of those. Plus, Hunter has this incredible mind where he just remembers things that he hears, like after maybe like the first or two times so he'll remember if he hears something if i would show him something he's already heard he'll just say he's already heard it and i like my channel to be first time reactions with at least one of the people so um so today hunter we've got four songs one of them is a song that i picked that i remember enjoying when i was younger however well actually let me say this of the four songs we're going to be doing i didn't enjoy any of them enough to or at least I enjoyed the songs, but I never bought an album by any of these bands. 
So, um, so that's going to be something that's a little bit different, you know? So I'm going to be showing you a sort of a style of music that will be maybe a little bit different though. It's, it's still generic, kind of not generic, but it's still rock music. So anyway, one of the songs is a song that I think you're going to like, and it's the most different of the four songs. And I picked it specifically cause I think you're going to like it. Okay. Then I have another song that's sort of like, kind of like a gothic -y, punky song. Then I have a song that is more of sort of like a, uh, like a skater, a skate, like a, it was the kind of song that could be in like a Tony Hawk game, mm -hmm. sort of like a skater punk song, uh, emo punk type thing. And then I, I don't even remember what the last one is. I won't look. No, you can, you can look if you want this time and don't tell you anything. Oh, and the last one is, I thought it'd be fun to show you a song from the most famous band from Nebraska, which is the state that we live in and are from. I bet I know who they are. I bet you don't. Not really? Okay, then no. I don't mind. think you do. Were you thinking Imagine Dragons? Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, they're not really from Nebraska. Their singer uh, was born somewhere else, but then he lived his child, a lot of his childhood in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So it is nice that Imagine, they do tr make it a point to tour through Nebraska when they can. And that, that's really awesome because obviously Imagine Dragons are one of the biggest bands in the world. But no, there's one band from Nebraska that's like incredibly popular, had songs on the radio all over the place. Do you want to just start with that one? Yeah. It's probably, I think, the song you will like the least. So we can start with that and work our way up. Right. Okay, so in that case, then, the band I'm talking about is a band called 311. Mm. Ever heard of them? Probably, but I don't. Yeah, I would I would be surprised if you did know who they were. Um, they, they I think they're still a band, but they only get together and tour every few years. And I don't know the last time they released an album. I should have looked all this stuff up, but I want to be honest. For these reactions with Hunter, I kind of just want to talk to him about the music and have him listen to it and tell me what he thinks. I don't want to get too much into the bands and who the members are and all that stuff. I'm interested in those things when I'm reacting to something, but for him, I want to keep everything just simple. So 311, uh, they had their, their first huge hit song that like got them to explode is called Down, and that's the song we're going to be listening to. Okay. And they this song, I think, is from... 1995 i want to say um they were popular in the 90s all the way up through the maybe like 2010s or so and every time they released an album they would have a few songs uh from it that were on the radio and popular and when i was in high school they had a song called amber that was a huge song and it's about the color amber uh it was a huge song that I think that might even be their biggest song to date, but they have like several huge songs. Some of them I enjoy, some of them I don't. Uh, the thing about them is that they're sort of like a rap rock or rap metal group. And then some of their singles, like their songs that were on the radio are slow songs. And they, a lot of them have this like sort of like Island, almost like reggae feel to them. Do you know what that means? What reggae sounds like? No, no. It's, it's a very distinct sort of sounding thing, and you might recognize it when you hear it. Um, it's from their third album, which is their self-titled album. So it's just the album called 311. This is what it looks like. I'll put a picture up here. Interesting. It's just That's their logo, 311. And the song is called Down. And let's just go ahead and give it a listen. We are, again, going to be doing the music videos as well, just because I think Hunter is a little bit more of a visual person. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Do All I, right, oh, the, you can look. This is this is not going to be a very high quality video either. This is before HD and all that stuff. So this is three eleven with the song down. What? Hold on, what are you laughing at already? It's It could be a meme song today. It's like all this rock, and then this guy comes up. And starts going, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, do Yeah. Okay, well, I have to say, 311, even though they're from Nebraska, they're not my favorite band. Even though there's a lot of elements to them that I like. Like, I like hip-hop, rock, rap, rock music. This guy that does the more rapping stuff, I never really cared for him that much. I do yeah. I do like him more on other songs, and I like him on this song, but he has a very particular style. Like, But you have to also remember, this is 1995. Yeah. So music was a lot different in 1995 than it even was when I graduated high school in 2005, then in 2015, and now we're closer to 2025 already. So this is quite a while ago. But uh, there's two guys that sing in this band. That yeah. guy who does the... And then there's another guy that does a little bit more singing. They sing. definitely um, 
the, it just started out rock, and you'd think that before he can get the process that it's going to be a rock song, he just starts going... Now, I will say, as of yet, I have not managed to get Hunter into, like, hip-hop or rap music at all. I don't like Which I don't care for much modern rap music at all. I much more like older school, old school hip-hop stuff. And there's some modern things that I enjoy, like the band Mayday, for example, stuff like that. But um, I haven't found anything that he likes yet. However, a big influence on his uh, his musical taste is the WWE and video game soundtracks, just like I, my my musical taste was influenced by those two things when I was younger. And there's there's a lot of wrestlers who have sort of like rap, rock, hip hop theme mm-hmm. songs. And I know some of those songs you at least enjoy because, you know, you've heard them enough times that it's like, OK, this is kind of a cool song. So, yeah. all right. All right. We'll restart from the beginning and see what you think. If you have anything to say, if you want me to pause it at any time, just let me know and we'll pause it. Okay. Pretty heavy sounding, right? Yeah. Can you understand what he's saying? Not at all. Notice the clothes they're wearing and stuff, though. They're all distorted. Yeah. Because the, you'll, you'll notice that in the next video as well, kind of. Even though that was from about five, six, seven years later. All right, so what do you think? Um, Very funny at the start. But yeah. It- kind of grew more annoying because he got more used to it and you couldn't really Here, sit up for it sit up straight there you go the, sorry that's just easier to see you and i don't like the shadow on your face so but yeah they just it started it started being more annoying knowing that you can't know or you can't really understand a word he's saying and uh You, okay, so did you like the like rock parts of that? Yes. It's very raw sounding compared to a lot of the music we listen to now and stuff, just because, you know, this this band was not hugely popular before this. This album really skyrocketed their popularity. And then after this, I think all their albums started to sound much better. This this album has a very much I haven't heard I haven't heard, by the way, any full 311 album. I don't have literally a single one, which is crazy. And another thing I wanted to mention was if if anyone watches this, you find this because you're a, ba- a fan of 311. If you want us to listen to more 311, we absolutely would be willing to do that because we're from Nebraska. And yeah. I feel like they're special. And I do really think Hunter would like some of their other songs. I personally really like their song Creatures for a while, but also Amber, 
those like three or four other really slow songs that they had. I didn't care for those as much, but any of their heavier like rock songs, I liked those. Um, but honestly, I think Hunter would like a lot of them. But let us know if you want us to listen to more 311 and we will do that. So write in the comments if you think, you know, that we should listen to more 311. Yeah. Um, so I will say I, I think I could understand a vast majority of what the guy was saying. But I think that maybe is just because my ear is more attuned to like listening to faster ly- lyrics and stuff. Yeah. And I just am more used to listening to sort of like hip hop style. Um, I will say this style of hip hop vocal is sort of, in my opinion, it's a slightly bit cringe that it's like, it's like he's trying really hard to sound sort of like hardcore. And I like a more like natural sounding like flow to it. However, in listening to this for the first time in quite a while, I actually loved it. Like I thought that was really nice. Um, I could hear a lot of crazy, interesting production things, but you would, don't really necessarily care about that. So I thought it was funny that at the beginning of the video, it shows that, I don't know what it was, like a sumo Like a big sumo-looking dude. And then it just cuts to that guy singing, like... The rap <laughs> part, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's, like, <laughs> like, skinny and, like... Yeah, totally the opposite of that. And it was just funny. What did you think of the video filters the whole time, like the effects of the video? They're good for stuff like that. For like nineteen ninety five, when they don't have an idea, just use special effects. Which, right. Which that is what they seem to do a lot. Yeah, the in a lot of their other videos, it is pretty much just them performing the song. That's something that they always stood stood with. But they definitely got like a higher budget later. Like I was saying with their music, their music videos, the same thing. They had a way higher budget, so there's like really great lighting, awesome camera effects and things. I believe that. But for this, like, if you and I made a music video, we could make it look like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we could make it do this just with weird like stretching and pulling effects and things. But that would be really easy for us to do now. Not as easy back in 1995, especially because I don't know if they made this album after the song started to gain popularity or or this. I'm sorry, not this album. I don't know if they made this music video after the song started to gain popularity or or when. So any f- closing thoughts on this, though? I know you didn't really say that much, but if you don't like it, there's probably not much you can say. I mean, did you like it or not really? Not, and you can be totally honest. Not really. Do you want to rank the songs that you listen from like one to ten, just as like yeah, a okay, sure. okay, we can do that. Should we? Should you can we do it. Go from the Metallica one. No, no, nah, we didn't do it in those, and that's fine. But let's just start now. So this one I have to rate a four out of ten. A four out of ten. Okay, that's fine. And you might not like anything that I show you, and that's totally fine. I think it's still valuable to get your opinions on the stuff. You know. Yeah. Especially because you're really mostly only familiar with music from today, from now. And a lot of the stuff you listen to is like little chunky things on like, I know you're not a fan of TikTok, but like these little short 30 second videos is where you get a lot of your music and Fortnite and stuff like that is where you get it. So that's just like little chunks of a song. And so it might be a little bit different to like sit and focus on one song in particular. So, yeah, well, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying like, it's good to get your perspective on things. So I don't really like it when they have two genres mixed together. Okay. I just don't think that it really sounds good. There mm. might be a couple genres that are mixed that sound good, but rock and hip hop, they could make it sound good, but it that was not that okay. good. And you said the same thing kind of with, with Metallica, with Master of Puppets. When I got to the slow part before the solo, you said it felt like a completely different song. Mm-hmm. So I think that you're kind of basically saying the same thing here. It felt like two two different songs kind of put together, huh? Or just that they were trying different genres. Yeah, but it was way more... It felt more on... He was trying to be serious, just didn't feel that serious. Okay, well, I would definitely say the lyrics are not super serious, like with the rapper guy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not super serious. And I think that it's meant to be more like fun. And like I said, a lot of their music in particular is more sort of like islandy reggae feeling. <clears throat> which is a, a completely different feel than this. Um, so maybe we should do at least one other song, one of their slow songs, because I really do enjoy Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa. I like that song a lot, but they have several songs that are just like hugely popular slow songs. So, okay, well, we'll end the video here for now. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, recommend stuff in the comments for Hunter to listen to. And especially if you want us to listen to any other 311 songs, which ones would be good ones to check out? 
Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.